Hi, I'm Ted from Fronius. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use the Fronius Solar Creator, a powerful tool for creating string designs. First, let's open any browser. Then go to creator.fronius.com. When you land on this page, you'll have two options. If you already have a SolarWeb account, which you use to log in and monitor your systems, choose Login. If you don't have a SolarWeb account, for example, like me, I would choose Continue as Guest. But I would recommend you to register your own SolarWeb account so that your designs will be saved into your account. After you continue as guest or log into your SolarWeb account, if you already have some previous projects that you want to edit, you can put your project name in the search bar. But if you want to work on a fresh project, then choose Start New Project at the top left corner. A pop-up window is going to come up, and I'll put my basic info in for this project. The name of the project is North Sunny Plant, and here's my client's info. After you complete that, click Next. For the next step, you'll have to choose the features for your system. Since the options such as battery, EV, and ohm pilot are not yet available in Canada, you can uncheck these. This is going to be a commercial project, so deselect residential and click next. The next step is setting up your preference of unit. For this, we will choose the Canadian dollar, metric system, and degrees Celsius. If you don't want to do this step again, just check this box to take it as the default settings. After you finish the presetting, then click Start. Now we're going to put the address of the system. After that, you will see that the solar irradiance will be calculated based on our database. However, this isn't always correct. I've done a study on my site, which only gives me 1250 kilowatt hours per meter squared annually. So in this case, I'm going to drag the increase-decrease rate to adjust my value. In this case, I'm going to put minus 4%. For grid parameters, you always need to consider the country approval. I will consider all phases in my project, and the grid voltage will be 240 volts. Leave the power factor by default. Lastly, I'd like to put my production back to the grid, so I'm going to leave 100% as default. Otherwise, you can choose any percentage. Going to the next page, if you choose All Power going to the grid, just checks the box of 100% feed in. This part won't be counted in this project. If not, choose a preset profile that you prefer. Now let's move to our array design. In this page, you can find almost all the PV manufacturers in the world and their models. For my project, I've chosen 50 modules of CS7N 6-55MS with Canadian Solar. For tilt angle and orientation, I'm going to leave them as default, as the system is roof mounted. Since these arrays are not bifacial, leave it at 0%. Now it's time to choose our inverter and sizing of the system. For the target ratio, I'm going to put 150% because Fronius products are capable of this ratio. I'm going to put 600 volts DC as the max voltage. Since the system is in the Toronto area, I'm going to set up the minimum temperature as minus 20 degrees. You may put 30 according to where you live. After we set up all the parameters, the list below will show all the possible options. Currently, we don't know which inverter we're going to choose, so we're going to consider all the inverters which work for 600 volt DC. So select them all. If you know which one you're interested, then just check that one. Then press show calculation. Now we land at this page. It will show all the possible scenarios of my design. Each scenario will tell you what the power ratio is, how many inverters you're going to use, and the string design for each inverter. In my case, I'm going to choose this one because it gives the highest power ratio, and the string design that works best for me. Click Next. Now we're at Components. As discussed before in the pre-setting, battery and ohm pilot are not yet available in Canada, so we can safely ignore them. Since my clients want to know the consumption of the system, they're going to use a smart meter. Check smart meter and click add. Be sure to check the wide range smart meter as this will cover all use cases. We're now going to calculate the cost of our system. 
Since we have different costs at different times, I'm just going to put the average, which is 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Our tax rate is at 13%. The feed-in tariff and duration will depend on the contract. For this system, it's going to be 5 cents per kilowatt hour and last for 10 years. The total investment of the system was $50,000, so I'll put $50,000 here and click Next. According to all the information I had put in, the creator will produce a magic report for me. In this report, I can see how much the system would cost, what the yearly yield is, and its ROI. That's everything, and thanks so much.